frosting, decorating, and cupcakes. Oh my. Welcome back to Chef Wannabe's Life, and today we are going to have cupcakes. I'm sharing with you a frosting recipe that I have never used before. I've seen it all over YouTube, so I just wanted to try it and see how it came out for me so that I could share with you if it was good or not. You're going to need one cup of butter or two sticks. You're going to need one half cup of vegetable shortening. You are going to cream these together for a good probably three minutes. Now, I'm going to warn you about a mistake I made so that you don't make the same mistake. I really like this icing for decorating and that's kind of what I was looking for. When you go to mix in your next ingredient, which will be your chilled sweetened condensed milk, you will need to switch from your paddle attachment to your whisk attachment. You could go ahead and use your hand mixer for all of it and that would be perfectly fine. Make sure to scrape down the sides of your bowl a couple times. I usually don't use my KitchenAid unless I'm doing a double batch of something because it is so huge. But I did it in here and we made it work. Next you are going to add one can of sweetened condensed milk that has been chilled. Now mine was in the refrigerator overnight. Yours just needs to be in there long enough to get chilled because I promise you if you do not chill it, this will not work. Make sure to save some on this spatula there so you can like lick it off when you're not filming. You know you do it too. This is where I should have switched to the whisk attachment. But I didn't. But you're going to. Then, just when you think that it isn't going to thicken and this is not going to work, keep on keeping on because it will. I didn't think it was so I put it in the fridge so it would firm up. My butter separated, then I had to microwave it, then it was soupy, then I had to wait for it to chill. Whew. But see I did all of that so that it won't happen to you. So just keep on going because it will thicken into frosting. And it is beautiful to decorate and pipe with. It holds its shape really nicely. The one thing is, is that this icing does need to be refrigerated after you have decorated your cake or cupcakes, etc. Then you will want to take it out of your refrigerator probably 15 or 20 minutes before serving so that the icing will soften up again. What's the difference between icing and frosting? Because I've called it both in this video. I like frosting. But anyway, tomato, tomato, right? Make sure to use good vanilla. I also think that this recipe would be delicious with a flavoring flavoring like strawberry or cotton candy. I also added in my coloring at this point. Make sure to spend the money on gel food colorings unless you want some super pastel color. And make sure to taste your icing because every chef should taste their food. Oh, busted. Every chef should taste their food before they serve it to anyone else, right? Oh, busted again. Here we go to decorate. I used just a selection of sprinkles. I used a Wilton 1M tip and then a bag with no tip for these cupcakes. I wanted it to be really easy. 
You'll see in some of them I stick the tip down into the center to make it like a filled cupcake. And so you just do you. It is so fun just to decorate and, and have fun. So I'm going to leave you for the rest of the video to enjoy the decorating and I hope to see you back again for my next video and in the meantime don't forget to eat good food. Bye guys!